everyone, welcome back to Lavelska Delena for episode 40 in the Adventures of Feldcorp. Ah, good morning everyone. Ah, today is going to be an interesting day. It's uh, still late winter, but the ground has unfrozen, so uh, we're going to be getting on with a little bit of fertilizing today. And uh, specifically, we're going to start out doing some of those contracts that we had from last time. We've got uh, a couple of fields down in our area, just up here. Yeah, uh, pop up the little GPS thing. Yeah, we've got field 49, uh, 47, and 46. So we are going to go this way, I think. And uh, we're at the new Zetor today, as you can see. Uh, now, after the last time, uh, we had quite a nice tasty boost in the old money there. And as you can see, we're up to 320 grand now, which is very exciting. So we are going to swing around here, and since these fields are close to us, we've got our roller out with us today. Uh, if I can remember what the commands are to unfold it, there we go. Now, I'm hoping it's going to work well enough on this little Zettor, because it does look a tiny bit oversized. But, fingers crossed, if I can press the correct button to lower it, it's... Oh, I think I'm on the front weight, aren't I? Yes, I'm on the front weight. <laughs> Change tools, you map it. Okay, there we go. That's got to go. Is it working? It is! Rah! It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I should turn some lights on. Oops, that's a hole. It's, uh... Oh yeah, you can see the uh, the change in the field colour there. That's smashing. Yes, so, uh, yeah, what we are basically doing today is we're going to do a couple of these contracts here. Get uh, some of this rolling and fertilising done. And the reason we're obviously using this is because it's um, uh, organic, which is always a good thing. And uh, these fields are fairly close to our farm, so there is a potential we might buy them in the not too distant future or in the future at some point. You know, and if we do, then uh, we can certainly use them for uh, for crops of our own uh, straight away because we'll know exactly what's, uh, what's been done to them fertilizer-wise, you know, being as we are an organic farm, as they say. Now, uh, the animals have been doing pretty well over winter. Yeah, they haven't, uh, you know, haven't done anything particularly out of the ordinary. I think we'll turn the lights off for now. If I pop the old cruise control on, we'll have a quick look at the animals menu. Ah, we do need to work on the chickens a bit. And as we do the pigs. But, uh, hello. Have we had a bunch of births? We may have had a bunch of births. Let's not run into a tree there. <laughs> we have to stop and have a look at that. Because that seems like we've got quite a lot of pigs already, all of a sudden. I don't recall us having that many before. So, let's get over here again. Lining ourselves up. And as you can see there on the, uh, the little mini-map, we are fertilising along quite nicely, so I'm well pleased with that. So let's point ourselves in the direction, hit go, and hop back in this menu quick. So, oh, crunch, wrong one. Ah, uh, panic, panic. Okay, here we go. Uh, here. Oh, that's a male. We'll have to get rid of that at some point. Females. Oh, yeah, we've got newborns. Wow, we've suddenly got a lot of pigs. Now, we're going to have to go over there and uh, manage them at some point, maybe today. Crikey, that was a, a sudden pig-based explosion that I was not expecting. <laughs> uh, I knew they were going to pop out a few young ones fairly soon, but I was not expecting that many. Let's just do another little headland down here as well. But yeah, now I don't think they're going to be worth a whole lot, but uh, we could certainly look at uh, maybe selling some of those on. Uh, either sort of early spring maybe or um, early autumn not autumn summer sometime around there we'll have to 
Let me go over there and have a proper look, I think. Is this any sort of ground again? Yes. But now that's exciting. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, yeah, so, pigs. Excitement. We might actually be able to make some of those sausage rolls and get them sent over to Mr. Seedly P. That would be exciting. I'm sure he would appreciate those. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, uh, like I say, we're going to continue on doing a bit of fertilising today. Uh, we've got these three fields here, and then uh, we're going to take the Unitrack down to the uh, biogas plant and uh, get a bunch of digestate out on our grass fields, because uh, they could certainly use a bit of fertilising. Now, we did um, already put the lime on earlier today. Uh, I think it was Alexander went down with the... Um, uh, so 1674, I think that one is, and uh, he um, threw some lime down there for us early. So we'll go back over it again um, a little later on today, once we've done some of these contracts, and uh, have a look and uh, throw some digestate down. Uh, since we've got a fair amount of it in storage at the moment, uh, we can uh, just sort of use it down there. That that makes perfect sense since we're going to be right there. So. That's a good place to use it, and uh, we'll uh, get that done, and then uh, I think potentially look at selling some, because obviously it is uh, coming up to the end of winter. Uh, I think we're pretty close to our debt goal as well, because we were uh, working with the bank, and I believe they'd said it was either the beginning of spring, or like it was either the end of winter or the end of spring. I can't remember offhand which it was. But um, we'll assume it's the, uh, the sort of worst case scenario, as in today's the last day to pay it off. Or not off completely, but I'll go on this side. <laughs> but yeah, the last day to uh, make a uh, decent impact in it. So I think they wanted us down under 500,000 by the um, yeah, sort of end of winter, beginning of spring next year, this year. End of winter this year, beginning of spring next year. <laughs> uh, that was when they wanted us. Uh, yeah, if they said if we get down under 500 grand, then uh, they might be able to arrange some um, leasing insurance for us, which obviously would mean uh, we'd be able to um, borrow equipment from uh, other farmers to do some of their fields for them, if they are particularly large ones. Or um, did we even finish this field contract? I wasn't even looking. Let's have a look. No, it still says it's active. Okay, we've missed a, a tiny bit somewhere then. I think I see where it is as well. But, um, uh, yeah, so with any luck, are you going to lift it on there? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, with any luck, um, we should be able to do that, no problem. I think we're only about 50 odd grand away from it anyway. So, okay, what else have I missed? Large portion over here. I mean, it looks pretty well fertilised. Or well, maybe it was a line down this side we missed. I can't see there's too much else according to the map, anyway. Looks like we've fertilised it quite well, unless we've missed a little bit in the corner somehow. Curious. Got that part in the corner done. Very strange. Should be that corner done as well, yeah. And let's just run it across here in case these clear patches need filling in. They shouldn't, because the map says it's all done, yeah. How strange. Well, let's get this little bit on the edge. It must be these two corners up here, or this odd patch that uh, we've missed sort of in the middle. About there. No, not that. Oh, the only other part we've got is this little bit down here in the corner. Probably be this now, won't it? That's not that. Okay, what is going on? What have we missed on this field? Oh, 
I'm getting stuck on a tree now. <laughs> Now, I'm looking at the map down there, and it doesn't look like we've missed anything. So, quite why he thinks we're not uh, fertilising it enough, maybe? I mean, we're on automatic, I think. Yeah, we're on automatic, so it should be doing just fine. So, I am confused. There has to be a tiny speck somewhere that we've missed. Probably in one of the corners. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll figure out where this is, and uh, we'll come back again when we get onto one of the next fields, probably. to fix that uh, peculiar fertilising problem and uh, we've got some uh, some of the contracts done now uh, well the three that we had we have got those done uh, so we're just going to park up here and uh, run up and check the pigs quick to see what's going on with them I think this is where we usually yeah this is where we usually drop this thing off so we shall drop it down and unplug it and drop it off there. Lovely. And I think we'll just leave this here for now as well. Uh, so let's run up and have a look at the pigs. And uh, while we were doing that, um, Clara also has gone out in the uh, Ursus and has been doing a few fertilising contracts herself. So uh, we've got a few things to turn in in a moment. Oh, looks like we need to uh, do some work up here as well. Uh, now I just need to find the uh, yeah, um, drop-off point for the pigs. I think it's over here. Yeah, I think it was this one. Hello, pigs. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Crikey, we... Wow. We have maxed out the pigs. That is... Impressive. If accidental. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Okay, so obviously the male ones will need to get rid of fairly quick because they're not going to do anything useful. But I mean, it's not like we've got space to breed more. It's what I mean. How many did we start with? We didn't. We only had like twenty-four, maybe something like that. Yeah, all the super expensive ones down here. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we only had 24 to start with, and suddenly we've got an entire thing. No wonder they've been eating more. <laughs> Crikey, that explains a lot. Yeah, it looks like the Yorkshires are a bit more pricey, which is good. Uh, obviously we don't want to sell them at the moment, because they're going to be good breeders, but... Uh, wow, okay, uh, maybe we're going to have to look at getting uh, another pig enclosure somewhere so we can uh, get some of these out of the way and start fattening them up because that is a lot of pigs uh, let's close the gate so they don't escape another quick look at that we've got uh, if we go right the way up to the top now well, actually no, if we start down here we've got uh, a lot of spotted they go from 25 to 
So we've got ten of them. Ten of the Yorkshires. And ten more spotted, I'm guessing. Well, a few more than ten. But yeah, oh, wow, that that is a lot of pigs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay. Um, mm. We are going to have to uh, have a quick look at uh, what kind of pig pen options we've got. Pig. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't want pig troll or cat troll at the moment. <laughs> uh, let's see, fifteen. That's not enough. Uh, that's very expensive. That we may get later on. Uh, pig foods there. It's only twenty-five. That is forty. I mean, we could pop one of them down somewhere, maybe. Yeah. What we really need to do is get a large one somewhere. And, I mean, we could afford that now, but... I mean, we could always put another one of these down. That's another 90 pigs. Uh, is there anything else even close to those numbers? We've got a massive one, but I don't think we've got room for that. Uh, let's have a look at um, one of these ones. Let's see what the footprint is on that. That is quite massive. Yeah, we probably don't have room for that anywhere. If we did, it would take up a lot of field space. God blimey. Uh, what about this one? That is, again, yeah, that is a lot of space. Yeah, I don't know if you can kind of see the uh, corner posts on it. Yeah, they're kind of hard to see, really, because they're little, little yellow dots. But yeah, it's um, wow, that that's a lot. Uh, mm, well, I mean, we could maybe get another one of uh, those ones we've already got, because uh, I don't think um, yeah, that one's far too big. That's a hundred. Where can we put this? Uh, yeah, if we were going to get that, we might as well get the um, current one. That's not as bad for size-wise. I mean, we'd probably have to buy another field to put this in, to be honest. Uh, I mean, he yeah, has not really a flat portion on this field either, but then that's going to be an expensive field. Uh, one of these we could potentially use, I guess, but... Even then, I mean, that's when we could always put it down here. Chunk it in at the bottom there. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, cost. Of, oh, that's going to cost an absolute ton, isn't it? Yeah, because of the landscaping involved. 255, yeah. I mean, it's five grand, but still. Crikey, I wasn't expecting to have this big of a pig problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could... Uh, Potentially fit another one of these in somewhere, I suppose. Maybe down here. I mean, again, that's still... That's about four grand, but that's, that's going to take a bit off the field again. I didn't really want to do that. Although we were thinking of putting it down here originally. But still, that is... A bit of a pickle. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we could potentially pop it down here, I suppose, get another one in. Uh, actually, you know what, let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, and we've got contracts to turn in as well. Let us turn in those. Get them turned in, and see where we are uh, on the map. Because there's a pig farm around here somewhere. That's sheep, I think. No, wait, is that pigs? No, that's cows. Cow. Yeah. Oh, here's the pig farm. It's up here. We were too far down on the map. Pig enclosure. That's 254 to purchase. Uh, oh, no, it's a limit there. Can we see that on the animal thing? Uh, what is it? Pig enclosure. It doesn't tell us how many we can put in it. We may have to pop over there and take a look. I uh, wasn't originally thinking of expanding in that way. Let's close this door. There we go. But uh, that might be something we have to do. Um, uh, who, kn who knows? We'll have to think about that one, have a chat with the family, see what they want to do.
because uh, if those pigs are going to breed that quickly, then um, if we could get another thing set up, maybe one of the big ones that has a lot of pigs. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, this. Yes, Unitrack. Let's hop in this. Um, yeah, if we could uh, not get stuck looking at a wall, that'd be helpful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a pop down. Um, I think the pig farm is on the way to the... Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's literally just down the road. Okay, uh, well, we'll drive down there and uh, not be able to see much out the front of that. Um, we'll see what we can find, uh, see if it has a... Uh, if there's anybody there that we can chat with, see what numbers uh, the, pig, you know, the pig pen takes, see how big it is. Because uh, that would be... I mean, if that's like at least 500 pigs, that's potentially an investment option. Uh, otherwise, we could maybe look at getting a spot of land somewhere. Um, if there's anywhere not too expensive. Oh yeah, I think it's just here, isn't it? Yeah, let's pull in and see if we can have a look at their pig pen. Oh, these were the people that we bought that um, Ursus off originally. That's right, I remember them. It doesn't look like anyone's about at the moment, although the doors are open. Um, let's have a quick look, see if uh, we can find out any information. Oh, that's just a hundred pigs. Okay. So this bit of land wouldn't be particularly valuable to us. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll have a ponder on that then. Let's just get out of here. And um, we'll head down to the biogas plant and uh, see about doing some... Uh, some digestate spreading on our grass fields. Okay, here we are back down at the uh, grass field doing a bit of uh, digesting now. Um, yeah, as you saw, uh, well, you didn't see because I didn't show it. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that whole thing with the pigs, that's crazy. Um, we had a look at the map and um, off the top of my head, I'm not exactly sure what we can do. Uh, we may uh, be able to um, get another one of those pig pens popped in and uh, see what we can do with that. It's um, it's it's a thing, really. <laughs> you know? I mean, if we can get another um, 90 slot uh, pig pen put in, that has the potential to help because um, we could move stuff out. And, Give it a chance to uh, age up properly. Oh dear, don't go so fast down the hill. Okay, let's turn that off for a minute. Oh, we are a wee bit front heavy at the moment. <laughs> yes, this is the one instance where the uh, um, Goma tank, or whatever it is, I think it's Goma. Is it Goma? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Uh, where the Goma tank, uh, for some reason, it draws from the uh, the back tank first, not the front tank. It would be much nicer if it drew from the front tank first, because otherwise this thing gets stupendously heavy at the front. <laughs> but uh, not to worry. So yeah, we are getting some digestate down on this field. Uh, as you can see, it's not doing a lot, so I'm wondering if our spread thing is... Uh, not exactly on, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's, it's, either, it's not on automatic, I think it must be on the minimum, which is a bit harsh, but uh, yeah, as you can see there, the front end is getting very, very light indeed. Come on, let's go backwards. <laughs> yeah, there has to be a better way to do this. Uh, in fact, we may have to run without the front tank after this, which is mildly annoying, but, you know, if we have to, we have to. Um, but yeah, so, the pigs, uh, we'll have to ponder that. Um, you know, we could put another one of the same pig pens in and uh, move some of the newborns down there out of the way. Uh, we may just stick with what we've got and uh, wait until they've fattened up a little bit and then sell them off. Um, yeah, we've, we've got plenty of time, we're in no rush. Uh, yeah, the pigs are obviously going to produce quite rapidly, whether we like it or not. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll see what we go in there. But yes, as you can see, we're getting the uh, lovely digestate spread here. Uh, like I say, I think we are running 
Well, I mean, we can look and see. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're not on automatic. We are on manual. And it's applying not a whole lot to this. So that's curious and probably not the best thing to be doing. But, uh, oh, look at it glisten there. <laughs> Yeah, so what we may do here in a minute is set it on to automatic, possibly once we get the, uh, the thing done, because I'm imagining it's going to have to come up fairly high, if we're only putting on about 40 kilos per thing, then yeah, we are not going to be putting a lot on really. Well, it's going to take a while. So, um, yeah, I think what we'll do is um, we'll probably drop the front tank off. We'll get one coat on it with this, and then we could probably come back over it again and uh, give it a second coat on automatic, um, just to make sure it uh, it gets up to speed. Or we could even come down and roll it, to be honest. Uh, we could get the um, roller going. Am I on the right tool? I'm on the wrong tool. Uh, yeah, we could get the uh, the roller going, perhaps, uh, get that down here and fertilise it. But, um, yeah, uh, for now, we'll carry on with this, and uh, we'll come back in a bit, because we do want to sell some of this digestate today. Because we have, um, over in this this tank here, we've got uh, 200, I don't know if you can see it there, we have 251,000 and change, and the other one has about 90-odd thousand in it as well. Uh, so yeah, for now we're just going to disconnect that and leave that there, because as front heavy as that was getting, uh, I don't like our chances of being able to uh, to drive around very well. <laughs> but yes, we'll continue with this and uh, come back uh, once we've probably once we've finished it, uh, or if we buy another attachment to put one instead, maybe, because there are a couple of. Uh, potential slurry spreading candidates we could consider using. Um, one of them's a small lorry backed one. Oh, drop it, fold it, let it down. Are you on the ground? You are not folded. Not oh, you are folded. You're no down. What am I doing? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, down. Good. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Uh, yes, so we'll carry on with this, and we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, here we are coming down to the biogas plant again. Uh, this time we are in the uh, new lorry that we bought. It's a very nice looking uh, Kamaz on the inside here. Definitely newer than the other one we've got, but uh, not a problem. Uh, so yeah, we are uh, in that. As you can see, the money's gone down a little bit. And the reason it's gone down is because we bought this. This lovely uh, Nefaz tanker. Uh, from what I recall, it does sort of fit with this um, truck set a bit. I'm not sure if it's exactly this one it goes with, but uh, uh, I think it's some of the Kamaz or um, Ural type trucks. And I'm making a pig's ear of... Uh, doing this thing, aren't I? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get it under the uh, spout so it fills up. Lovely. And we are going to run this over and see what we can get for it. Because a nice bit of digestate would be lovely. Or well, money from the digestate would be lovely. And uh, we're at the biogas plant here. The slurry yard is over here. So uh, we're just going to take that um, sort of side track across, cut off the um, top so we don't have to go around the uh, uh, sort of tiny road up there by the horse farm and everything, and come back down and sell it. Okay, we are full splendid. Let's go and have a have a sell of this and see what we get. Uh, now, the last time I checked the price, uh, it was going up, and it was about... Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, 2,638. So, um, we're going to get about 80 grand off this one load, which is pretty good, if I'm honest. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a boost. Uh, that's going to pay for the trailer, for one. 
and uh, that will mean we can throw a bit more money at the uh, uh, the loan as well. So I figure we'll probably sell two loads from here and then call it good. Obviously we are driving down a bit of a uh, side track, uh, sort of farm road here, but oh, handily we are right next to the petrol station as well. And we are going to need to pop in there and grab some diesel for this on the return trip. Assuming we can get up the hill, but I'm sure we will make it, he says, hopefully. This is a big tanker. We are down to three miles an hour. Come on, yeah, you can do it. Maybe if I give it a bit of a wiggle. Three, two, three. I hope no one's behind us waiting. <laughs> hey, we're making it up here. I wonder if there's a back road that might be a little... Uh, less hilly. We could have a look on the map there. <laughs> but uh, now we made it. That's the important thing. Just barely made it. I wonder if there's a horsepower upgrade we could do on the truck. <laughs> or in fact we could try popping the uh, other axle down if I can find There it is. Uh, maybe that would have helped having the uh, extra axle lowered down. But nonetheless, we are up here now, so let us pop in and see what we can get for this. Because that is going to be a rather tasty profit, I'm thinking. So let's get over here to where we're supposed to unload it. Now, I know we can unload it anywhere where it comes up with the thing, but for the sake of making it look halfway decent at least, he says, making a right mess of it, but you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, let's unload it here. And let's see what we get. Like I say, I'm thinking it's probably going to be uh, close to maybe 95 grand. Uh, that's my guess, anyway. I mean, it's 2,600 per thousand. We've got 40,000, so we're getting, I, I would say, at least 95 grand. May even top out over 100, but we'll see. And the total is, yeah, it looks like it might be. Hundred and nine grand. Wow. Well then, that's a bit impressive, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, let us go down and get some diesel, uh, and I think we might run up to the, sh uh, the shore. Uh, I'm somewhere between saying shop and store. <laughs> and we'll run back up there and see if we can do a quick uh, upgrade on the, uh, the horsepower for this. I don't think that we can, but uh, in fact we could check on the um, online thing and see if there was a uh, an upgraded engine option for it, because if there is, then... Uh, we can get that, but let's pull in here in a completely rude and inappropriate fashion and fill up with diesel and check the uh, check the old trucks here. Now it was a come as that we got. I think it was this one. Yes. Does it have any other engine upgrades? No, it does not. That is the size that we are stuck with. But, you know, that's okay. It's got 210 horsepower, so it's not exactly terrible. And uh, I'm pretty sure none of them are on sale at the moment. Nah, that's okay, though. We've got this, so... Uh, well, let's leg it back over there and get a second load. Now, we're not going to overdo it with this, obviously, because, you know, we're going to need it as well. And... Um, I had a look at some of the uh, spreading options. Uh, there's a couple of potential things. There's a small um, uh, fortress one that only takes about uh, 85 horsepower, um, 9,000 odd litres, I think. Uh, that was you know, not particularly expensive. But there was a slightly bigger one which we may consider getting. Because uh, it's got uh, a second option on it for a um, uh, what's it, a three-point link. So if we wanted to, we could perhaps on some of the larger fields cultivate at the same time. 
which may be a, a worthwhile investment. Uh, obviously, it'll take a fairly big tractor to do, but we do have the. Um, God, this turning circle on this thing is awful. <laughs> uh, we do have that um, uh, Ursus. Uh, you're not going to reach from here, are you? No. Uh, yeah, we've got the Ursus 1674M, which can take some upgrading as well. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, we'll take two loads out of this, and that'll practically empty the um, optional biogas plant, which uh, was our sugar beet one, I believe. That's where we spent the uh, or sold the sugar beets into. Um, yeah, so that's good. We've got mostly uh, most of the digestate out of that. Less, uh, probably about what, two or three thousand liters. So that's good. So let's head on our way back up here. Uh, yeah, so we're thinking we might get that um, that tanker for future use. Um, this these two grass fields here are slightly spread. Uh, they've had a little bit of digestate on them that's raised it up to uh, uh, like 40 kilos per hectare of nitrogen. So uh, we'll either wait for a growth stage or run another um, uh, run over it with the roller, I should say. Uh, maybe. Um, yeah, we would have to do that now before it hits another growth stage, obviously, because it's grass. But, um, yeah, we could uh, could potentially do that. Hit it with the uh, the roller, get the rest of the fertilising on it. That, that might be a good idea. And now for the struggle up the hill. Let's turn our lights on because it's getting a bit dark. Hopefully we can make it. And the axle is down, so... That may or may not have helped. Let's have a quick look on the map, see what. Uh, oh crikey! I should have put uh, cruise control on. <laughs> uh, let's have another look at the map. Yeah, we could go all the way around. Maybe that might be slightly better. I wouldn't want to try getting up those tracks with uh, a full load, though. Sorry, Mr. Car. We're picking up speed now. <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to be uh, quite a tasty load. Let's see if the price has gone down yet. No, the price is still going up, actually. Well, that's good. So we shall sell this and uh, then see about uh, popping some stuff off on the loan. Uh, now, ironically, we might be close to being able to pay the whole thing off after this load, but uh, we're not going to do that. Not just yet. Uh, we've got a little bit more a few other things that we need to do, um, obviously some of the uh, vehicles we can upgrade and things like that, so we'll have a, have a look at that in a minute, or not in a minute, um, next time I think. Uh, and we've got the pigs we can, uh, we need to take stock of as well. don't think we'll be buying any um, new pig pens, I think we'll just uh, fatten those ones up and let it go from there, but this is going to load... Uh, load us up with money again so we shall wait and see what that gets and then we'll give the bank a little bit of money and see how they feel about that because that should be uh, should be very good we are getting very close to having that paid off which means that um, the family will be completely solvent again you know, they will not be beholden to any financial institutions uh, and they'll have some farmland and equipment and everything, and uh, some odds and ends going on. So that's smashing. Another 109 grand. Wow. That is impressive. Okay, well let us go to the bank page. We've got 500... And, yeah, we could almost pay the whole thing off. Uh, but like I say, we're not going to uh, do another load today, but we will pay this down. Uh, Let's see, I think we'll put uh, 200,000 on it, which will put it down to... Have I gone too far? Let's do it down to there. 295. I think we were on 495 before. So we are now down to under 300 grand. That is impressive. I am quite pleased with that. And uh, on that note, uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, uh, please give us a like and 
hit the old subscribe button too if you haven't already. And, uh, comments are always welcomed and uh, any shares of the video would be greatly appreciated too. You know, anything we can do to uh, help grow the channel. Yeah. Still got a ways to go but we're working on it. <laughs> uh, with that uh, we shall see you next time hopefully on the continuing adventures of Feldcorp. Cheerio everyone. <laughs>